Well, and we've been asking police for weeks if they have any updates about the shooting death of 21 year old Marcel Wagner. You can see a memorial here to him at the bus stop where this happened today. The teen accused of shooting him was charged with first degree murder and prosecutors say there was no interaction at all before the shooting. This is 17-year-old Miguel Rivera Dominguez, who police say fired a gun seven times on board this King County Metro bus on October 3rd in what prosecutors now describe as a senseless execution of a total stranger. It makes my heart sink and it scares me for, I mean, these... The shooting on board the bus happened during the evening commute. Court filings say Rivera boarded the bus in Burien and rode for 12 minutes before he stood up, went to the back of the bus and shot the victim, Marcel Wagner, five times. Police say it appeared Wagner was asleep when he was shot. You're sleeping on the bus and you get shot and killed execution style. Police say Rivera then demanded to be let off the bus and fired two more times through a door. The charges say he ran off and still hasn't been apprehended. Safety on the bus is definitely an issue. We need more bus security. The shooting has rattled transit riders who were already concerned after a stabbing and a hammer attack at a train station just days before. You got people doing fentanyl, God only knows what else, robbing people for their sneakers, and it goes on and on and on. King County Metro pledged more security would be on the H line after the shooting, but as Como News has reported, the Metro Transit Police are seriously understaffed. With all the problems with like the drug use, the fentanyl and everything, and now we got this kind of stuff happening. As detectives continue to search for Rivera, passengers who depend on the bus say they're uneasy. Riding the bus um, now for me is forever changed. Now, because of how Washington law works, Rivera, who's 17, was directly charged with first degree murder in adult court. Police say that he is known to use the transit system. He's still on the run, and they ask anyone who knows where he is to call 911. Prosecutors have asked for $3 million in bail once he's arrested. Reporting live in White Center, Jeremy Harris, Como News.